Hello, welcome back to Big Time Pools. This is Austin, and I got a play box of Modern Horizons 3. So far, I've opened up, um, well, well, I've opened up three, or sorry, two pre-release boxes. Um, did all right. We got like an Ocelot, an Ocelot Pride, uh, and a Nethergoyf. Those were like the two biggest pulls. And I got some of the free uh, free spell cycles, or the cycle of free spells. I got the white one and the, the black one. So, but here we go. We got a bunch of packs. It's been a while since I've opened up a box, so I'm pretty excited about this, especially with how strong this set is. Um, it looks anyways. Obviously, I don't know if it's insanely strong or not. I'm just here to crack some packs. Probably use some of these cards in some commander decks. But I'm gonna build out. But here we go, pack number one. So I know there's the allied fetch lands in this. Um, oh, so we're just, for some reason the pre-release ones these were in the back, but now this, or the rares were in the back, but this time they're up front. So that's our first rares, a Retrofoil Null Drifter. Then we have a Reef Worm, Hydroelectric Specimen, Charitable Levy, Solar Transformer, uh, Pyretic Rebirth, and then we have our Commons. I was waiting a month or two from this. Um, so we got a signed art card. We have a mountain. An exploring Hydra. And we have Kozilix Command, which is our rare. And we have Sylvan Safekeeper. Stump Stomp. Unstable Amulet. Hope Ender Co uh, Kogel. And then we have our commons. So far, no mythic. I remember uh, play boosters can have more than one uh, rare mythic per pack. So re reiterating bolt. We have a shifting woodland. This is a um, rare land. We got angel of ruins. Thundering Eruption, Creation of Avicen, Breaker of Creation, Envoy of Ancestors, or of the Ancestors, and then we have our Commons. So, so far, nothing too hot. Now, I will say this, I could miss a couple cards that are uh, pretty big pulls, but it's just because, like, I typically study the price guide before I open up a set. Just so I have an idea of like what are the big cards and stuff like that. But on this one, they don't have the price guide out just yet. So it's hard for me to um, know what's good and what's not. So we got Cranial Ram, Wheel of Potential, Nesting Grounds, Null Elemental Blast, Worm Coil Larva, Muster the Departed, and then our Commons. Obviously, you have the big Eldrazi's. Uh, there are the Allied Fetch lands that are probably going to be a decent amount of or a decent price. We have Amphibian Downpour, Nadir's Nightblade, Blood Soaked Insight, Ral and the Implicit Maze, Horde Shadow Spinner, Reckless Pyro Surfer, and then our Commons. <clears throat> uh, there's also the Flip Walkers. Um, let's see, so the Allied Fetch Lands, obviously the Big Eldrazi's, the Flip Walkers, and then there's a free cycle, or a cycle of free spells I was kind of talking about earlier. Okay, we got Felia, Exuberant Shepherd, Buried Alive, 
Mogmob, Skittering Precursor, Uzalix Unsealing. Then we have our commons. And so far I've opened up two pre-release uh, boxes and I don't know, I mean, or what? Six packs into this maybe and I have not opened up a fetch land yet. So we have Pearl Ear, Imperial Advisor, Distinguished Conjurer, is it Generatorium, Mindless Conscription, Glyph Elemental, and our commons. We have a foil rare Warren Soul Trader. We have a volatile Storm Drake, Deserted Temple. We have a retro uh, snow covered wastes, Bridge Works Battle, Kozilek on Ceiling, Amped Raptor, and then Commons. So three rares in that pack. Yet to pull a foil. Or, I'm sorry, you have to pull a mythic. Man. Island, Tempest Harvester. Here's a mythic, our first mythic. And I actually just saw a Reddit post about how this is just disappearing on a TCG because everybody's ordering it. You have Rao Monsoon Mage. And that is one of the flip walkers. That was our first mythic. And from that straight into a jet medallion. We have Bridgeworks Battles, the creation of Avacyn, uh, Territory Caller, Spawn Gang Commander, and then the rest of these. Okay, that was a pretty good pack. We got Island, Snapping Void Crawl. We have a Archway of Innovation. We have a Barbarian Ring, Vexing Bottle, Golden Tail Trainer, a Skittering Precursor, and then our Commons. So I think I read somewhere on Reddit that there's like a ooh, Cursed Mirror Rare Foil. But I read somewhere that there's like six to seven mythics per box. Um, so we will see about that. So I got White of Reliquary, Emerald Medallion, Waterlogged Teachings, The Hunger Tide Rises. And we have our commons. So far, multiple packs with more than one rare. Mountain Fetid Gargantua. We have a White Orchid or White Orchid Phantom. Fledling Fledgling Dragon, Pinnacle Monk, Snow Covered Waste, Reiterating Bolt, Collective Resistance, and our commons. Oil, the Necro Bloom. We have an Eldrazi Linebreaker. Distinguished Conjurer. Legion Leadership. Triton Wavebreaker. Solar Transformer. Metastatic Evangel. And our Commons. So far, still just the one mythic. We're. Probably about a third of the way through the box. So we got Eldrazi Ravager, Ginku, Future Shaper, Decree of Justice, Corim the Undertaker, Rush of Inspiration, Consuming Corruption, Twisted Real Keeper, and then our Commons. It's crazy to me that I haven't opened up a fetch land yet. I remember opening up uh, Modern Horizons 2. It was just like fetch land galore. Forest putrefying meddler, 
Ooh, there's a great one right there. Ulamog the Defiler. I believe this is one of the more expensive cards in the set. He enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it, equal to the greatest mana value among cards in XL. So whenever you cast a spell, target opponent exiles half their library, round it up. And then whenever he has a Nihilator X, where X is the number of plus one plus one counters on him. So that is pretty crazy, I would say. I mean, let's say you're playing a commander game, you XL 40 cards, right? That's insane. Idol of the False God, Scurry of Gremlins, Tricksters, Elf. And then we have our commons. Well, a little bit over a third. Actually, we're almost to about halfway through the box. So far, we've pulled two of the really good mythics. Venter's Axe. Ashling Flame Dancer. I actually just pulled her in one of the pre-releases. Junk Diver, Hydroelectric Specimen, Brain Surge, Cursed Wombat. Was that Cursed Wombat uncommon? Yes, it was. And then our commons. Ooh, a foil Kappa Cannoneer. We have a sewing. Myco Spawn, Victimize, water Waterlogged Teachings, Ethereum Premander, Arcbound Condor, Golden Tail Trainer, and then Commons. So I know some of the uncommons that are going for quite a bit of money are like the Vexing Bobble, which I know we pulled just a little bit earlier. They're going for like 450 right now on TCG, but I mean, I'd assume with all the product being opened that that will probably change. So we got Furnace Hellkite, Roshin, Roaring Prophet, Fledgling Dragon, Urza's Cave, Amped Raptor, Temio meets the Story Circle, and then our commons. We're about halfway through the box now. So far, I'd say that we've done pretty good. I think I got this box for like $230. Oh, that's, I was tripping on that. Okay, so we got eight uh, Argent Dias, Kirik, Son of Yogmoth. We have a Retrofoil Grim Servant, Razorgrass Ambush. Frogmire, Enforcer, Breaker of Creation, and then Commons. So far we've pulled... Oh, I thought we pulled a Foil Rare right there, but we did not. So far we've pulled three Mythics. Proud Pack Rhino. We have our first... Fetch land, flooded strand. So this one can go find you a plains or an island. And remember, this is the allied fetch lands. I'm, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure exactly what all that entails. I would assume it's like the blue, red. See, hopefully we pull some more. We have Obstinate Gargoyle, Imsker, Iron Eater, Wirewood Symbiote, Drowsy Ravager, Fangs of Kolania, Boltstorm Angel, and then Commons. Swamp, Sheltering Landscape, and then we have Echoes of Eternity. That's a weird art. And we have our first Uncommon Angel of the Bruins, The Hunger Tide Rises, Consuming Corruption, Ghostfire Slice, and then Commons. So I haven't drafted this set. Um, 
hoping to with some of my buddies. I opened up a couple of pre-release boxes, but I kept the cars in there because we typically do sealed. Um, okay, we got Ethereum. Uh, was that Terramander? Bloodstained Mire. Ooh, Recruiter of the Guard. There's another Mythic right there. And here's the battlefield. You may search the library for a creature card with toughness two or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. It's a strong card. Strength of the Harvest. It that heralds the ends. Death uh, Defiler. Titan's Vanguard. And then Commons. So I've pulled two fetch lands out of this box. We're probably about two thirds of the way through. Well, no, not two thirds just yet. Close to two thirds of the way through. Island, Hex Gold Slith, and here's another mythic, Grist Voracious Larva. So this is one of the Flip Walkers. So, so far we've pulled two of the Flip Walkers, and I saw in some video that they were saying that this one's probably the most powerful, but I know that the first one that we pulled, the Rowl, is like going for quite a bit of money right now. But like I said when I was talking about that, not a lot of product have been open. There's all the pre-sale prices, which are always insane. Okay, we got Void Pouncer, Emperor of Bones. We got Deep Analysis. We have a Mythic, which this is crazy because we just had a rare, uncommon, and now Mythic, Borderless. Satya Aetherflux Genius. That's interesting. Blood Soaked Insight, Spawn Gang Commander, Signature Slam. And then we have our commons. Set has seemed weird so far because whenever I was opening up the play boosters in the pre release kits, the rares of the mythics were at the back. And then for this one, the rares of the mythics in the front. So we got Foreboding Landscape, Monumental Hinge, Urza's Incubator. Both of these are rare. Etched Slith, Temio meets the Story Circle, Grim Servant, and Commons. So far we've pulled, what, five Mythics? <clears throat> We're a little over two thirds of the way through the box. So we probably have one or two more left in there. Fathomable Truths, Invert Polarity, Nesting Grounds, Drowner of the Truth, Triton Wavebreaker, Emissary of Soulfire, Marionette Apprentice, and then we have our Commons. Profane with Necrodominance, which is our sixth mythic. Escape your draw step at the beginning of your end step. You may pay any amount of life if you do draw that many cards. That is pretty cool. Oh, but your maximum hand size is five. If a card or token will be put into your graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Interesting. Got some of these uncommons. I've talked about most of those uncommons, so I'm just going to kind of fly through them. This common stack is doing towards it's about to hit the phone. Alright, we got a snake and we have a foil rare. Devourer of Destiny. We have Wrath of the Skies. Estrid's Invocation. And we have our, our uncommons, our commons. Stack's getting fat. Okay, Moonfolk. Swamp. We got a retro full coming up. Um, Pyretic Rebirth. Ashling Flame Dancer. So this is our seventh mythic. We've already pulled this mythic in this box, but I will take it. We have our uncommons. 
And then our commons. Not too many. I think we got maybe five packs left. Okay. Kudo, King Among Bears. And we have Thief of Existence. We have Victimize, Witch Enchanter, Static Prism, Lion Umbra. And then our commons. So like I said, I haven't really got to look at the price guide on TCG because I haven't put these up. Like I haven't put that up just yet. Um, We got Common, we have Shalingar, Sire, Famine, we have our Uncommons, we got our Commons, okay, four packs left, my wife literally just stepped in, so I got a speed speedrun, speedrun the packs, Fanatic of Ronas, a lot of people talked highly of that card, Priest of Titania, our other uncommons, and then our commons. Three packs left. Food token. We have primal prayers, Savine's reclamation, and our uncommons. We have our commons here. Two packs left. Hoping for some last pack magic on these last two. We've had some pretty good pulls so far, but I want to see some more. It that heralds the end. Obtruse appropriation. We have meltdown. And some more on commons. These piles are just getting out of hand. It's been a while since I've opened a box. My lacking skills, stacking skills. We got Bird, Disciple of Fray Frailies. Okay, so we got a, a rare right here. Psychic Frog. Oh, rare God of Souls. I thought I saw, oh, I saw the M on the MH3. I thought it was another mythic God of Souls. And then we have our uncommons. All right, that is the full box. I'm going to give you all a last little look at these uncommons that we got. Or, I'm sorry, these mythics that we got. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'd say pretty good box, but I'll see you guys next time on Big Time Pools.